Hey, how's it going? I hope everyone's having a great day. I know I am. So the other day, as I was finishing editing some videos, I was on Instagram scrolling through my friend's post and I ran into this interesting username who goes by the name of Heather underscore 526735. And she goes, DM me with your Cash App or PayPal. So first things first, as curious as I am, I clicked on her profile to investigate. So in her bio, she goes by the name of Mummy, and here it says DM to get paid. And I guess this is her number. So I went ahead and clicked on her highlights. And as you guys can see, she has receipts or she has proof of sending over 3K to her clients. So over here, we have this nice screenshot, do cash app. I think she was sending it to someone named Bria. And then her next highlight is also a receipt of her sending 500. So she has proof, she has the receipts, she has clients, everything looked good to me. And hey, who doesn't want free money on a weekday? So I went ahead and DM'd her, I need help with bills. What's your cash app tag or PayPal? And I go ahead and send her my cash app tag. And guys, this is my real cash app tag. So if you wanna send me 10 bucks after watching this video. And of course I confirm, yes. Have you ever had a sugar mommy before? Mommy? Now look guys, don't lie, if you had a sugar mama, bless you up every day with Cash App or PayPal, Venmo, whatever it is, you would take that offer. And of course, who isn't into older woman? It's 2022. I'm only doing all this to help people financially because of this pandemic, because a lot of people are really struggling to survive. Oh, wow, that's really nice of you. I will pay you 3K for first payment for the start and 6K every weekly. I think she meant week. I love what I'm hearing. Hope I can put my fully trust in you and you want trying to scam. Oh my God, again with the grammar, guys, come on. Hope I can put my fully trust in you and you won't try to scam or block me after sending you the money. You can trust me, mommy. Glad to hear that from you and I'm ready to put a smile on your face. Yay! So how can I make money today? I'm on it. I have sent the money, babe. Ooh, babe, I like that. Is you gonna suck my dick? You know what I'm saying? But it's on pending, and before you can receive the money, you have to pay just $30 to an author authorization before the money could be sent to your accounts. See, this is where it gets a little sketchy because when you're sending money through Cash App, you don't need to go through some authorization phase. You just send the money. It's that simple. What authorization? You will pay the $40 to an. Hold on. Did she not just say $30? to an authorization for the money to be approved and sent to your account. But Cash App doesn't require any authorization. I thought you only needed my Cash App tag to send the money. The reason why you have to pay this fee is because I'm running a business account and before you could receive the first payment, you have to pay to the authorization to add to your payroll before receiving the payment. Okay, sounds good. So she goes, are you ready to pay the fee and receive 3K immediately? Of course, who isn't? So I go, yes. Okay, are you there? Now listen guys, at the time of me DMing mummy or Heather52, whatever her username is, I was out having dinner with one of my friends, it was his birthday. So while she was trying to get me to send this money, I was outside enjoying my time with friends, family, before all this nonsense. And of course, whenever you don't respond to these type of scammers, five to 10 minutes, they start to panic. As I was outside enjoying my time with friends, she spams a whole bunch of video chats. And unfortunately, I missed out on these. I do wish I picked up, but I was not paying attention. As you guys can see, we have a whole bunch of video chats that I missed. And then she goes, you don't quickly check message. There is a lot of people waiting here to get paid. So this is the popular tactic that most gamers use. Um, you guys might've seen it in my last video, but it's basically FOMO, right? F-O-M-O, -O, which is fear of missing out. And basically what these scammers do, they try to make it seem like that there's a time frame in which this process is being handled or there's other clients ready to be uh, messaged. Right here, she's just saying that if I don't reply in a certain amount of minutes, then I'm gonna lose out on this opportunity. Let me know when you want to send it so I can see the cash tag. This is past one hours, waiting for you here since. Mommy finally loses patience and says, do I cancel the payment? No, please don't, I just got home. What's the cash tag? Mommy, chill. I just got home. I really want this money. Can you use the money to purchase the Bitcoin on your cash app? Wait, now we're talking about Bitcoin? I thought this was just cash app to cash app. Why are we bringing up Bitcoin? Wait, I got to purchase Bitcoin now? I thought I only had to pay a fee for the money. Yes, babe. Ooh, I always get a tingle when she says that. Use the money to buy Bitcoin. 
and I send you the wallet, you will send it to. I don't know how to purchase Bitcoin on Cash App. Okay, I will send you the cash tag right now. Make sure you add the money to your Cash App balance before sending it. Or did you have Binance account? Okay, how much am I adding again? What's the fee? Add $30. So it was $30, it was $40, now it's back to $30. Make up your mind. Okay, let me do that right now. Thank you for your patience, mommy. What do you mean by that? Do I send you the cash tag or you want to pay it through Bitcoin? Send your cash tag. Okay, shoe 31. I went ahead and did my research and as I typed in her username on Cash App, this profile popped up and I went ahead and sent her this screenshot. Is this you? Something went wrong. Hold on a second. So the money won't go to someone else. Okay, just let me know when you're ready. And she goes, in a bit, okay? Just stay here. So as we wait for our sugar mama to reply, I thought I would take this nice break for you guys. How's it going? Having a good day so far? You know, the weather's really nice. I don't want you guys to stay inside too long watching YouTube videos over and over again. Make sure you have time to step out, enjoy the weather. You know, it's past 12 o'clock, you're still in bed, you have your socks on, come on, man. Oh, thanks, I got this from Men's Warehouse. You look nice today too. Oh, where are my manners? Can I get you some to drink? We got uh, water, Sprite, Fireball, I dabble every now and then, and of course my signature margarita. I knew you would say that. Let me go ahead and get you a glass real quick. I'm just gonna give you a little, as I do want you guys to finish this video, because sometimes you can get a little drunk. All those 13%. And uh, let me get myself some too. We'll take a shot together. All right, this one's for you. Here you go, you got it. And this one's for me. Cheers to the new Ace family. I'm super excited for you guys to be a part of this community. We're gonna run it up all year and let's have a fun time doing so. But yeah, let's get back to the video. It's been like two, three hours. I'm tired of waiting, I know you guys are too. I hope you enjoyed this break and I hope to see you at the end of the video. So mommy finally gets back to me after two to three hours and she sends me her new cash tag. Send it to that tag. Give me the screenshot immediately. Okay, so I go on Cash App and I type in this username and weirdly enough, a different profile picture pops up. Now on Instagram, it shows what looks to be a white mom. And then on Cash App, they're totally different. This person's black. Something's not right. And I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Is this you? Yes. Wait a minute. Why is your profile on Instagram a white person, but your Cash App profile picture is a black person? Strange. I said is an authorization, not mine. That's where you will send the fee to and immediately you send the screenshot, the payment will be approved to send to your account. Oh, so this isn't your cash app tag. This is someone else's cash app tag that you want me to send the money to. Okay, still weird. Mommy, is this a scam? How can I trust you? Well, ain't here to scamming you of $30. I told you there is a $30 fee to an authorization to added you to my payroll for you to receive this payment. This is my authorization cash tag, not mine. I told you that already. Okay, so I go, can you send me photos of yourself so I know you're real? I mean, hey, we've been going on for this long. I think we're at the point where we should get to know each other a little more, where we're from, you know, maybe hop on the call. So I asked her to send me more photos because who doesn't want to know what their mommy looks like? So she sends me her photo or a photo that she randomly found. Okay, damn, you kind of cute. Want to FaceTime? You know, she's going to be my sugar mommy. I might as well give her some sugar. You feel me? Sounds like, sounds like, you know but what, what the hell, You know what, what Oh, here now, but yo, dirt, uh, but snake, uh, but afro hair. Uh. So she goes, see, ain't here to scamming. If you are not interested anymore, maybe you should tell me so I can cancel the money and give it to someone else. If you're ready, I'm waiting for the screenshot or I give the money to someone else. It's taking long already. And I go, can we hop on a call? I bet you have a nice voice. Shit, I'm not done flirting. What y'all thought this was? I mean, she was calling me like two hours ago, so why can't we just FaceTime? It's not that hard. So after going back and forth for some time, she finally loses patience. Why is it taking so long? Do I cancel the payment? Say something. And the reason why I'm wasting her time in trolling is so that she can't take time to scam the next person. In the time being, I was also creating my own fake screenshot 
as he was asking me for the money, I went ahead and went on Photoshop, created my own fake Cash App screenshot to send back to her so that she thinks I actually sent her $30. So I sent her the fake screenshot and then I go, where's my money? I paid the fee, now I want my 3K. I just sent you $30. She goes, hold for confirmation then. Can we FaceTime or something? I wanna see you. Just hold, why rushing? What do you mean rushing? I mean, weren't you bugging me not too long ago about sending the money? Mommy, stop playing games with me. I just want my money. <laughs> because it's past my bedtime and I wanna to talk to you so we can make more money deals in the future. And she goes, the money has failed. Why didn't add the $30 to your cash app before sending? Can you at least tell me where you're from? Well, looks like I'm never getting 3K after all. Good night. You see what I'm doing here? I'm simply using an Uno reverse card and putting FOMO back into her mind. So she goes, screenshot your activity for me. The money is here, my balance. Take a look for yourself. So here's where we take advantage of the situation. I go ahead and go on Grabify.com, create my own custom link, send it back to her, and simply wait for her to click on it so that we can obtain more information and actually know where she's from. Do you see the money? No. Screenshot your balance for me. Let me see. Just curious, where are you from? It might be a location issue. And she goes, New York. And not too long after this, she finally clicks on the link. So mommy, or Heather523, whatever the f your username is, isn't from New York City, but she's actually from Canada. So she goes, it's nothing to do with locations. It's a $30 sent back to your account. Are you playing with me? Are you playing with me? I mean, shit, I sent you the money. I just want my 3K and then we can call it a day. I'm asking you and I'm asking you. I can see you're not ready for this anymore. And scene. That was amazing acting, eight out of 10. In the future, let's work on making our page look more believable. Maybe add some pictures to your feed. It was fun wasting your time, mommy. So moral of the story, if you guys see a page with zero posts and all they have on their highlights is fake screenshots, don't trust it. Block the page immediately so they don't get to you. A lot of these scammers try to use FOMO as a method to make sure that you actually pay up front. But at the end of the day, they just want your money and they just want you to send as much as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time making this. And of course, if you guys wanna report this page, you have the username, make sure you spam her account like IML spam my old account so we can get her shut down. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.